is the start of Black History Month, and lawmakers at the state capitol are commemorating this February by hosting a special community hearing on a bill at the capitol. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin was there and joins us live now to explain why this hearing was different from most. Gabrielle? Matt, today dozens of Coloradans made their way into the state capitol to share their experiences, hoping that their stories can help the state press forward towards a better tomorrow. When I say black, I need you to say history. Black history, black history, black history. It's not just in the month of February, it's every month of the year, it's every day. On the first day of this Black History Month, community members fill the old state Supreme Court to share their experiences with each other and state lawmakers. We were told that we could not marry. And it was because of Colorado's anti miscegenation law because he was black. That's why this is important to me. There are people who believe that discrimination doesn't exist in Colorado today, that racism is a thing of the past. But we know, we've been hearing the stories that we heard today, that is very much alive and well in Colorado. And we have a lot of work to do to face our history and rectify um, what has happened in Colorado and determine how we want to move forward together as a community and as a state. Caucus members like Representative Leslie Harrod hope the bill and committee today will help people understand these experiences of racism in Colorado. The measure creates a group tasked with studying these impacts before putting together a report for the General Assembly and the governor. Community members saying if the bill is successful, it could bring about long-awaited change for Coloradans of color. Black people have always worked hard for white people. We always made their kids. Our ancestors were cleaning their homes. We've always had that power, and now we use it against each other instead of with one another. So, as you see, I most definitely vote for this bill. And that bill did clear committee a little while ago this afternoon by a vote of three to two. It now heads to Senate finance before heading to the Senate floor after that. For now, reporting live outside the state capitol, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31. All right.